my garden book. I guess you could kind of call it my dreaming book because um, uh, I have wanted yellow roses in my front yard for, I don't know, 10, 15 years. And about seven years ago, I put a page for yellow roses in my garden book. See, my garden book, that's where I put all my stuff, right? Um, so that I have a reference. But the plants that I want and I don't have yet, I make a page for them in my book. And I finally bought some yellow roses for my front yard. It was an impulse buy while I was at Tractor Supply to pick up some chickens. And um, they didn't have the chickens, but they had a yellow rose bush. So I picked it up and I'm going out and it. Hi guys. I'm Tanya, and I'm blooming in place. I am, oh, and my dog's mad. He wants to come out with me. I have some yellow roses, as I showed you in my book. And I thought we could plant them together. I'm going to go get, I need, uh, let's see, I need a shovel. I need my gloves. Um, I have... My garden boots, not sure if you can see them or not. Whoa, there we go. They're pretty new. I had a basement flood and I had to use my old ones in the basement uh, in muck water. And they sprung a leak and they got muck water inside. And although I washed them out with soap and water, it was time to get a new pair that's actually waterproof. So let's get my roses in the ground. Okay. Okay. I'm actually kind of chilly and that seems odd because it's supposedly 60 degrees out and I don't know maybe it's the dampness in the air that I'm experiencing or but I feel cold and I don't usually feel cold maybe because I came out earlier in short sleeves thinking it was 60 degrees out I caught a chill and now I gotta deal with it but I'm in my garage whoo and this is something I'm not going to do a panoramic view because uh, I would be too embarrassed. Everybody has a garage. You know what one looks like. It has walls and boards and and junk in it. Um, not everybody has junk in their garage, but everybody has a garage. So you know what one looks like. Okay, now I'm looking for a shovel. And that is a... See? That's a scooper shovel. There it is. That's a scooper shovel. I need a spade. And here it is. A spade. A spade is a spade. And that's my spade. And that is some cut up telephone poles that I wanna make like river pier posts out of for my garden around my pond area, but that'll be another day. Now, what else do I need? I need gloves. I see one. Where's my other one? I can never find my gloves. I buy a new pair every year and my old pair just disappears. And I got myself a new pair of gloves. We'll see how long they last. Oh, 
that one didn't work. That blew too far. A little closer on that top. A little cold compost with some perlite mixed in just to keep them good. And it says to cut the bucket in at least two places. Does that mean you should do more if you can? But six inches down. So I got the six inches down. 